Hi guys, it's QC Chrissy and welcome back to my channel. Can you believe we have made it to week five of our Q&A a day journal? So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button and the bell so you know every time I drop a video. If this is your first time, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. Now let's get started. And let's see, we are going to Monday, January 27th. And the question is, which art movement best describes you today? Surrealism, modernism, or Dada? Surrealism, a 20th century avant-garde movement in art and literature which sought to release the creative potential of the unconscious mind, for example, by the irrational juxtaposition of images. Modernism. Modern character or quality of thought, expression, or technique. A style of movement in the arts that aims to break with classical and traditional forms. Dada. Dada was an art movement formed during the First World War in Zurich in negative reaction to the horrors and folly of the war. The art, poetry, and performance produced by Dada artists is often satirical and nonsensical in nature. So... <laughs> I put none. Because... <laughs> Outside of reading the the, the uh, definitions, I don't know what this stuff means. But for the most part, I said I can be nonsensical. So I guess we'll go with Dada. I guess that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> January 28th, which was Tuesday, it says, how do you describe home? Well, the, there's a difference between like the physical home and the home that you were like, brought up and born in. And that when I think of that home, I think of family. When I think of up north where I was brought up, um, and just familiarity and that type of thing. But when I think of home here, I just think of, of it as my soul is, as the warmth, the blessings of it. Um, just my forever home and it just gives you that comfort comfortable feeling so that's how I feel when I think of my home here and versus my home in Pennsylvania on to Wednesday January 29th it said what was the last TV show you watched um I watch I'm, I'm catching up on project runway i love project runway i love um i don't like just reality shows where everybody's fussing fighting and and carrying on like like they still uh in elementary school but i like like top chef and uh america's next top model and project runway and the rap game stuff like that it's, it's pretty cool so yeah i'm catching up on project runway right, right now um, January 30th, which is Thursday. Oh, did I jump? No, I didn't. Boy, we're going fast. <laughs> so, Thursday. The question is, what do you want to forget? I, you know, I don't want to, really don't want to forget anything because I forget stuff. And I want to remember stuff. So, I mean, I wish I could forget, like, when my kids were younger, when they would get hurt. Like, I still think about those certain times, and, and it gets me all upset. And they're grown, but I still, like, think about it, and it gets me sad. Um, I don't want to think about, um, you know, people dying or getting sick or my health. I worry so much, and I just try to pray it away, but... Um, I just want to forget, you know, those bad things or, or when I hurt people, 
you know, you know, by you know something I said or did. You know, I would like to forget that. So that's my answer. <laughs> so Friday, January thirty first, it says, "Who do you want to be?" Me. <laughs> I want to be a better me, but that's all I want to be is me. Just me, you know, improve, constantly improve me. <laughs> Saturday, February 1st, it is what is your resolution for tomorrow? Well, I wanted to get this video done along with a few others. Um, watch the Super Bowl, be able to cook, um, spend time with family, get ready for work, you know, just be able to check off things on my to-do list. That was my resolution for yesterday. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, um, February 2nd, Sunday, which is today, and it's also Super Bowl day. Um, oh, and I forgot, let me go back, I'm sorry. February 1st was also the first day of, um, Black History Month. Okay, February 2nd, which is today, um, Sunday. Who do you live with? I live with my husband and my dog, Lucy. And you probably can't see my little bear back there, but I talk to that bear sometimes, so I guess I can include him in our, or her. I don't even know it <laughs> in my family because I talked to her, hit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was it for this week. Boy, that was fast. My next thing is this unit that I have on. Okay, this unit is called Rainmaker. Rainmaker comes in a, a quick weave and a lace front. This is the lace front and this is the color, let me take these off. This is the color T1B27. Uh, and it's supposed to mimic like um, like a natural uh, roller set or that type of thing. Let me see. It says, um, designed, to designed to mimic natural hair blowouts and roller sets. And it's very, very light. Um, it's it wasn't easy um, camouflaging the line of demarcation but I really like the color I think it's very pretty it is very light it does mimic the roller set and here is the card isn't she pretty my I didn't pull mine out uh, like that yet I may or I may not, I don't know, because I kind of like it like this. Anyway, that is Rainmaker, and she's by Sensational. And that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you next week for week six. I love you and have a day journey. God bless you. Bye.